Hi guys, so um, I wanted to get you guys some makeup tutorials like I promised. So I'm gonna get started with that. Um, luckily for you guys and unfortunately for me, I have some um, acne situations going on right now. Um, my hormones between um, all kinds of stuff. Um, introducing heavy lifting is elevating my testosterone. Breastfeeding has my hormones crazy still. Um, and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. So I have that going on. And I'm a little dehydrated. I haven't been staying up on my water this week. And I know that that's a big uh, reason. So um, <clears throat> the first one I'm going to do is going to just be um, just covering up um, I'm going to follow it up with some highlight and, and contouring and stuff like that in separate videos um, as I finish out this little sequence right now. Um, but right now I'm just going to go with the base of doing like the condition, the foundation and concealer and powder or well not powder yet because we're going to set that later. But um, also um, my uh, primer. So um, I'm going to just dive in and get started. So right now I have um, just some moisturizer on, um, nothing else. So uh, we'll get started with some primer. Um, this little guy right here, um, it's called the Pore, Pore Professional. Um, it's by Benefit. So the way I like to work as far as makeup goes, um, when I was taught in school, um, it was kind of just like all the best brands. They weren't really, um, we weren't really <clears throat> conscious conscience conscious of um uh the chemicals as much and stuff like that now that um I don't really do it as far as like an income I just do it more for pleasure and um gifting and things like that and creative stuff um I typically like to stick with um organic stuff but sometimes if I find something that really works and I haven't found um a natural art alternative that works as well um I'll stick with that for now <laughs> so this is one of those things um so this little um uh primer is the best by benefit professional I am obsessed so let's go ahead and get started mm -hmm. So um, sometimes I just like to use my fingers. Sometimes um, I like to use my beauty blender, which I'll show you in a second. It's like the God's gift to makeup artists. But um, for my primer, um, I don't mind just um, putting that on like that. So I'll do that. Mm, it feels so good going on too. It's super smooth and just like makes your foundation go on nice. Um, but yeah, it feels really nice on your skin and it makes your makeup um, blend really well. So when you're adding in um, all kinds of stuff, uh, blush, concealer, all that stuff, it all blends well with this stuff underneath. Um, and it lasts all day. Like my makeup will stay on so much longer. Um, and I usually like to use this an awesome setting spray after I finish my full face. Um, I have a favorite setting spray that I actually need to get some more of, but, um, I really am like, I don't know. I really like, uh, I don't mind when people re-gift things to me. And if I know someone will like something more than me, um, I, I'm, I'm a re-gifter. So, um, it's not personal. It's not that I'm like cheap, but I think that, um, it's really important to recycle. So I have some makeup that it's like, I, a lot of people know that I love makeup, so I'll get gifted it for holidays and things like that. So, um, some of it I, you know, I don't love, but I like using it up, um, just because I like to stay frugal in areas that I can. And even though it's not my favorite, why not? So next thing. So I got my primer on next. I would go in, um, with, uh, just, um, my BB cream or full foundation, whatever, um, stuff you want to use right now it's one of those products that I was gifted and I'm waiting for it to run out and I know exactly which one I'm going to try out next but I'll let you know after this so this one um I don't really love but if you're stuck at a drugstore and um you you know you lose your makeup or it's in your checked bag at the airport and it gets lost this one's a super um awesome drugstore one so it's by Garnier. It's not that it's definitely not natural. It's not that great for your for your skin other than it really for something that isn't all organic or natural. It actually feels 
pretty light and airy and not so nasty. So uh, I'm going to use that for now until I use it up. But the one I want to get um, is made actually, it's a BB cream. Oops, sorry. Drop my beauty blender. By Jane Iridell. Um, and it's 100% organic and I really want to try that next. So beauty blender. Um, in makeup school, this was like the it was like just came out I think it was just invented that year um, I went to school in 2008 to MKC Beauty Academy in Hollywood and it was like it was one of the coolest experiences but um, one of the the smartest investments I ever made uh, not really but anyways um, this beauty blender like oh my gosh all most Hollywood artists that you know, a lot of them are going to be using this. It is amazing for foundations. I like to get mine wet and moist so it goes on extra smooth. I just add the product directly to my beauty blender. And the cool thing about this sponge is it's reusable. So like I said, I like to um, you know, eliminate waste and um, recycle whatever um, so that, that makes this awesome. So I'm just going to go in and dive in. So. Um, you just kind of blotch it on and then um, do circle motions and um, I'm not using a mirror this camera doesn't look it's kind of blurry so bear with me but um, yeah so I just go in like that and do a light thing so I'm gonna just do like um, kind of a natural face today I'm not doing anything like over the top and crazy it's gonna be more like um, just kind of like a beachy natural face so like I said I'm doing like a video sequence so you're gonna see me in the sweater again and it's not that I wear the same thing over and over it's that um, yeah I'm gonna do a few videos for you guys so uh, look forward to those um, and typically so I'm like I said I'm gonna do other videos but I'm gonna um, do my eyes not anything crazy with my eyes I'm gonna keep it simple this week but um, I'm gonna do my eyes and stuff and usually if I'm doing a full face and I'll show that um, a different time I will typically leave my actual face um, not like I won't do the foundation and the everything until after I do the eyes so the fallout like it just makes your job so much easier when you know you're doing like a big smoky eye and you have all that dark stuff fall underneath um, it makes it just so much more easy to you know unless you want to get those little um, stickers or whatever or you can set some uh, loose powder but typically um, that's the best way to go so um, there's kind of I think it's good I should probably grab a mirror but that's okay I'm just gonna go with it so um, I'm gonna try to keep this video kind of short so I'm gonna keep it quick and not talk as much but I have my BB cream on there done with my beauty blender and now um, I typically go in with my concealer after that. A lot of people, and for the longest time before I went to school, um, I also um, just did my concealer first. But it actually totally um, eliminates a lot of the... Oh, sorry, I'm getting mirrored in this thing, so I should probably use a regular mirror now. I'm going to use a regular mirror because um, it's mirrored in my camera, so it's kind of messing me up. So i um, just going to go in and add in the concealer afterwards because... Um, it actually covers it up much better than if you were to put the concealer on first. Although um, it does seem like that makes sense. Um, you just do a little better blending wise and um, and then you can go back in you know and fix whatever you need to and cover it with powder and um, like I said just it's all about the blending so um, yeah yeah, definitely a good time to show you guys. I've even got some neck, neckne? I don't even know if that's a word, but yeah, hormones. If your hormones are freaking out, it's going to be in this area-ish, your jawline. And that is where most of my concentrated stuff is going on. So, um, yeah, just using my fingers for that. Um, I can go back in with a beauty blender if I want. If you have a liquid concealer, um, you can use that. Um, for that but that's kind of what I do right there so not anything like too crazy like I said I still have powder and all that kind of stuff to go in afterwards so um, that's what I do first and then the last thing I will do is do my cheeks so let me grab that um, 
I love this. So this is a liquid blush. Um, it comes in mango and then like kind of like a pink. I forget what the color is. But I got this in a three pack with a highlighter as well. And it's also made by Benefit. Um, it's called Cha Cha Tent. And it's like a lip tent or um, you can use it for your cheeks. Um, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do that really quick. And then um, that's the end of this video. And um, I'm going to go on to highlighting and contouring, so stay tuned for that. But it's so cool because it just blends in with your um, your liquids, and um, it does a really natural kind of glow um, blush. So I love that. And the other side really quick. And circle motions, dabbing. Um, you want to go along the cheekbone if you need to suck in. Um, you know, and then we're going to go in with a highlighter and a contour to kind of soften that up and um, get it blended correctly. So I do a little touch on my nose. I, I think, like, where does the sunlight hit? A little on my nose, a little on my chin. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so it's a little rough. You know, that's just, just, just the beginning. So um, thanks for checking in, guys, and stay tuned for highlighting and contouring. I'll see you soon. Bye.